Hi, I'm Sean Thomas, BMW Brand Ambassador. I hear you've recently become the new owner of a BMW motorcycle from Cross Country Cycles, and I'd like to help you get to know the dashboard of your new bike a little better. Let's take a look. Many models of BMW motorcycles now come with a TFT display. When you power on your bike, the TFT will come online. Once it is cycled through the startup procedure, it will display this screen, the pure ride view. This view will tell you your speed, which gear you're in, the time and ambient temperature, and has this active tachometer display. Depending on which features you use while riding, more information will appear in this view, such as ABS and traction control, cruise control, upshift recommendations, and more. At the top of this view, you'll also find the rider info status line. Displayed on the right side is your current ride mode. In the center of the rider info status line is a list of information accessed by the menu rocker button. A short press up allows you to move through the information available. This section offers information such as your odometers, fuel level, fuel level and range, tire pressure, and more. Pressing this button down will access the menu. From here, a brief press of the multi-controller to the right will allow you to scroll through the available options. Here you can find My Vehicle, Navigation, Media, Telephone, and Settings. You'll see an arrow pointing to the right or left, letting you know that there are more options available. When the page heading is illuminated, you'll see an arrow below it appear. Press the menu rocker down briefly to select the screen. In these screens, you use a combination of the multi-controller and the menu button to select or change your choices. Now, there are many screens with many options, including connectivity with your phone and in-helmet communication devices. Getting to know the TFT in depth and all of the information and features available will take some time. Your owner's manual has good step-by-step -step instructions for setting the display up to your liking and getting and staying connected. If your model comes with ride modes, take some time to get to know them as each mode changes the characteristics of your bike based on several factors. These factors can include throttle response, suspension, traction control, and braking characteristics. On this R1250 GS Adventure, for example, we have a choice of several ride modes, each changing the characteristics of the bike to best suit your riding situation. If you have Ride Modes Pro on your bike, you may even be able to customize some of these characteristics in the TFT menu. To change modes, power on the bike and use the Ride Mode button found on your right grip to cycle through your available modes to the one you want. You can even change these modes while you're in motion. Just select the mode you want, then engage the clutch or roll the throttle off and on to confirm the change. Your owner's manual gives you detailed descriptions not only of which modes are available to you on your bike, but also what characteristics change as you cycle through the modes. Spend a little time with it and get to know which ride modes suit you best for your riding situations. If you have TPMS, the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, you can access your tire pressures through your vehicle information page on the TFT. You'll have to ride the bike a short distance in order to get the system to read the current pressure. The system will monitor your pressure while you're riding. If the pressure in a tire falls below a preset threshold, a warning light will come on letting you know. Next step is suspension. Whether your new bike comes with ESA, electronic suspension adjustment, or not, there are two basic elements to adjusting suspension to your riding style. First, let's talk about damping. Damping refers to the stiffness of the suspension. Softer damping makes for a more comfortable ride, where stiffer damping is better for more performance-oriented riding. If you have electronic suspension adjustment, you can adjust the damping by touching the suspension button on the left grip. Your adjustments will be displayed on the TFT. The road setting is softer, while dynamic setting is stiffer. Next, we'll take a look at spring preload. When you adjust the preload on a bike, you're adjusting for the cargo weight the bike will be carrying. This will include you as the rider, but also may include a passenger and or luggage. To adjust this, get your bike running at a standstill. Press the suspension button, then hold it down to change preload. Many newer BMWs have three suspension settings. Auto, which senses and automatically adapts the motorcycle to the load, as well as maximum and minimum settings, which will set the suspension to its lowest or highest preload settings, regardless of the load on the bike.
If your bike does not have electronic suspension adjustment, you probably have manual adjusting capabilities. Check out your owner's manual for where to find the adjustment knobs for the damping and the preload, as well as suggestions on how to set it up for the ride you want in the cargo you're carrying. If you have questions on any of the subjects I've covered here, contact the crew at Cross Country Cycles. I'm Sean Thomas. Check out our other videos for more information. Congratulations on many wonderful miles to come. Now get out there and make life a ride. <laughs>